he was he made his way down Pennsylvania Avenue. And behind the general and his staff all were mounted. Uh, all of his staff were mounted. They had a band, a drum corps, a composite of foot regiments, and a column of battalions, which included Marines from Quantico, a mounted artillery battalion, and a squad of cavalry. Behind the military escort was four clergymen, including Right Reverend Charles H. Brent, who had been the senior chaplain for the AEF, which was the American Expeditionary Forces, during World War II, or World War I, and he was in charge of the religious rites uh, for the upcoming ceremony. Next in, there, in the column was the caisson, and then followed by the president, the army chief of staff, the vice president, which was Calvin Coolidge at the time, um, with the chief of naval operations, and of course the chief justice of the U.S., uh, who at the time was William H. Taft, also a former president. The Supreme Court members followed after that, they members of the cabinet, they had state governors, they had General Lejeune again, members of the Senate and the House. To help maintain the quick time cadence, a section of the Army Drum Corps had come next in the column, 